All right, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 35 of my Gateway Experience. The purpose of these videos is to document my journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience tapes. The Gateway Experience is a series of six waves with six tapes in each wave, and I am currently on the first wave, and the last tape on that wave. The first wave is called Discovery, and the last tape is called Free Flow 10. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out, as I will be referencing pretty much everything we've talked about so far. So it's a good reference point if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's get straight into it. I want to say, first and foremost, the purpose of the Gateway experience is to really remember who we are, what we are, and to set the intention to know and declare that we are more than our physical bodies. And the Gateway experience helps us do that by tuning in to the frequencies that they play in our ear through something called um, frequency following uh, or um, response, I think it is, or something like that. Um, and basically, it's just uh, going through the different states of consciousness, different states and levels of awareness that we have with our minds. And uh, mainly, uh, the hemispheric synchronization is what allows us to do that. And so, uh, I'm very grateful for these tapes because they are very, very invaluable there's no value that you can really put on them because it's basically limitless and right now it is 6 42 a.m. it is September 28 2022 last night I went to sleep around 11 1130 and this morning I woke up at 5 a.m. so pretty great I feel amazing and I went ahead and did my tape after doing my morning routine so today was the second day doing the Free Flow 10 tape. I did not do it last night, but I should have. I feel like I should have now that I did it this morning. Uh, I don't know why. I think maybe I was just too tired last night. But uh, yeah, I'm glad that uh, I did it this morning. And when I did it this morning, it just gives me a, a, a certain level of clarity. Now that I've been doing it for, this, for as long as I have, and I'm a little bit of adept at doing the pre-preparation process. And um, I mean, at the end of the day, I just wanna say at the end of the practice, and I'm not gonna make this video too long, um, I really just came to the conclusion that I wanna be a better man. You know, I wanna, it's just the way that I wanna show up in my life for my family and uh, for everybody around me. And I think that's very powerful. I think being able to remind yourself of that and really set that intention, intention and to really uh, become aware of your body and imagine if you could, like if you were playing a video game and you, like think about how easy it is to just direct a video game character around the video game world. Like uh, you just point and click and uh, you don't have to worry about many things. It's just very simple and you can just direct very clearly. You can look at the map and you can look at the quests that you have and you can just achieve all the quests and then you can level up. Uh, now imagine that you were able to do it just as easily with your own self, right? It's like if you could really look at yourself from an out of body experience, like if you could really just lay down and go out of your body and look back at your body and say, oh, look at this guy. And you can really look at all the attributes and look at not just from a place of like the emotional side that we all kind of get bogged down in many times and the fearful side of it as well. But if you could really just like objectively look at yourself and then also compare that with your goals, your dreams, your desires, and then also your level. Right? Like how valuable would that be? I've always wanted that in my life. And, uh, you know, because I played a lot of video games, you can look at my channel, the video games that I've 
posted on here. And I've played way more than just the ones that I've posted videos up here. But I always found myself gravitating toward that, playing that role of that character. And uh, I just found that uh, with life, it's similar, but it's different because of the emotions that we find ourselves in. And also because we can't see from the third perspective. It's all a first perspective thing. There's no map. There's no mini map, you know, uh, that type of thing for you to be able to look from a bird's eye type of view. But, uh, but there is a map. It's called Google Maps here. And, uh, and, and we, can, we can look at the bird's eye view if we go into an out-of-body experience. And it doesn't have to be like completely out-of-body to go astral project and go visit somebody or anything like that. But just being able to meditate and look at yourself from outside of yourself, even if you don't go too far, if you could just look at your feelings, your thoughts, your, uh, and then look, look at your previous actions and make sure that all of those line up. And, uh, and yeah, then, then you're in that unity consciousness. So I think that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this video because uh, I feel like uh, it's self evident. And I want to encourage those that might be watching this to practice, you know, and it's more powerful than just simple meditation. And I'm sure if you look, if you dig deep enough, you will find these tapes and I'm sure you could maybe even find them for, maybe you don't even have to pay for them. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there um, because they are very, very valuable. It does take desire. It does take discipline, but I'm very grateful. And so if you have questions for me, let me know. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.